you ever seen an ice hockey goalie's mask? Then see him or her make a save with their head. Well, they can thank Jacques Plant. Jacques was born in 1929 on January 17th in Quebec, Canada. He died in 1986 on February 27th in Geneva, Switzerland. At age 12, Jacques would watch the high school hockey teams play. Then one night, he was watching a game when all of a sudden, the goalie and his coach were arguing over something. Then the goalie quit. There were no other goalies, so Jacques asked if he could play. The coach said yes, and Jacques played the rest of the season with that team. The mask made its first arrival on November 1st, 1959 in New York at the Madison Square Garden. At the time, Jacques was playing for the Montreal Canadiens and had used the mask in practice before, but he had never used it in a game. His coach hated the mask and said it was wimpy, but in New York, things were about to change. New York center Andy Bathgate shot a demolishing slap shot and broke Plant's nose. In the second period, he returned with the mask on his face. His coach did not like the idea, but did not want to hurt his goalie anymore. He went on to play with the mask on his face for the rest of his career, also making different types of the mask. Jacques was also one of the first goalies to play the puck behind the net, and to play the puck to his teammates. Jacques saved many goalies' lives. As time has gone by, the evolution of the mask has changed in many ways. So each time a puck hits a goalie's head, they can thank Jacques Plante. Jacques is in the Hall of Fame for making an invention that has saved many goalies' lives, but for also being one of the greatest goalies of all time. Every goalie is thankful that they have a mask on their face, including me.